Hello and welcome to a bonus sports battle. Uh, the day after Chelsea have won the Europa League, is it the second time? It's the second time, yeah. One Cup Winners Cup, a European Cup and two Europa Leagues. Well done last night, Brendan. Thank you. Well played, son. Thank you. Good performance. As you've noticed, Johnny is not here. No, Johnny isn't here. Um, as promised. As promised. Probably wouldn't have been fair to have him on either. Like, um, but why was the game filmed from the moon? Good question, because it was in fact filmed from the moon. Uh, like the atmosphere wasn't great, didn't sound like a final, uh, didn't look like a final. Yeah, you wait for trying to get games into these humongous stadiums and get as much corporate um, seats sold as they can. Mm. Where I, last night would have been perfect if they brought it to, I'm just going to use it because it's not one of the bigger stadiums, but Anfield, right? Plonked it in Anfield, had 52,000 people. Split more as as much as you can halfway down the middle between Chelsea and Arsenal fans. And it would have been handier for a lot of people. It would have been handier, yeah. But even if you found a smaller ground, wherever, like it's in Gdansk next year, I think, which is yeah. a lot more accessible. And I think it's a big, a better stadium. It still is quite a big stadium. I think it's a better atmosphere wise stadium. But as a neutral, it was, it was really hard to get into. Mm. Let's talk about the actual football. And for the first twenty minutes, Arsenal was a better say. Yeah, in those wing back positions, we're doing probably what. Amory told them to do, which was get as wide as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, Chelsea were so obsessed with Aubameyang and Lacazette that they left spaces out there. I think Chelsea were willing to sacrifice the space out there because Lacazette and Aubameyang are so dangerous. Yeah. Uh, but they were happy for Klasnach to have the ball because he's not as big a threat going forward. I actually don't think he scored for Arsenal. Um, not since he signed. Maybe one, maybe, but... I'm not sure about assist-wise, but uh, he's not... For example, Marcus Alonso, who... Andy Robertson. Andy Robertson, exactly. From that position, uh, you know, is wicked in terms of getting on the end of things and scoring and putting assists in flat out. Certainly Robertson this season. Arsenal's weakest player, certainly going forward, attacking wise, is Krasnic. Don't worry about the centre halves because they're not going to really cause that much bother anyway. Yeah. But who's the one that's going to potentially be attacking you? So Chelsea are just like, right, you can have the ball. And then we'll sorry ball you, but at a really slow down pace. <laughs> and then, going forward, Chelsea started to come alive after 20 minutes. Giroud, his touch, first touch in the first half wasn't ideal. But you can see Hazard getting involved in the game. Emerson started to get involved in the game down that yeah. side. He had a good chance, great save from Czech. And then Giroud had a big chance before halftime where Czech made a really good save. Yeah. First goal is up, like obviously always is so important. And proved to be a game uh, last night. Really good finish. Giroud actually points to where he wants it. It's a great ball in by Amerson, but Brilliant Drew pass. knows what he's doing, um, and he knows he can get a, get in front of Koscielny. He just he's so strong, and we know how good he is in the air, and it's a great finish. Oh. Then until they get the second goal, Pedro, who just seems to have this knack, he's like the Spanish Drogba for scoring in finals. Yeah. If you have look up his CV for winning trophies, it is serious. The might that man has won. Everything he can win, he has won. Pedro's finish isn't like Robbie Savage talking about it being. An unbelievable finish. He does scuff it, yeah. but it, it goes in the bottom corner. So it doesn't that. matter. Like, and he's there. He hits it, connects with it, and it goes in. That's all that matters. Then it turned into the Eden Hazard show. Hazard calmly. I know he just has this thing of penalties where he just passes them into the net really slowly. Um, I, I was saying actually to Dad as uh, he was running up. You know, Czech knows him so well. Yeah. Oh, but right. also he knows Czech. So there's that dynamic as well where. You know that the goalkeeper is gonna try and do the way that you favour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, okay, he's cool as I so. And that's what, it, you know, that's what he's like with everything. Yeah, he's very relaxed, he's very laid back. He, he's a very relaxed guy, and he, he said before he's not really worried about the Ballon d'Or or anything like that. And I know Fabregas said last night, you know, deep down he is, he's mm -hmm. bound to be. He's, he's so relaxed about everything, um, and that's why he, when he saw, um, when he was asked, he didn't really want to. Give commitment or um, say it definitely. He gets the second as well. A nice little uh, assist from Jury. Yeah, that's a lovely goal. Ah, it's a brilliant goal. Like, and he gets his second, wins it, nails it for Chelsea. Yeah. Arsenal, though, just a touch on them. Awful. And forget about the final for two seconds, but the result, meaning that they'll not be in the Champions League for the third season in a row. Yeah. That's for from a club who's been in it for, I don't know, what, 15, 15 years in a row, maybe, will it? Um, that could be killer if they really need to they really need to have a look at themselves it's, it's all doom and gloom at the moment it is massively doom and gloom 
we'll need to see recruitment wise in the summer. Uh, the likes of Ozil, he, he he was awful last night and has been all season. I think that might be his him. last game for Arsenal. Yeah, I um, if I was an Arsenal fan, I'd be happy enough with that. Yeah. Based on uh, Fabri asked me a really good point, saying that he's a fantastic player with fantastic talent, but he's not a player who's going to carry a team. No, and Arsenal need one of those right now. Yeah. They had one and he got injured and he's leaving to go to Juventus. Yeah, seriously, that is so true. He missed massively last night. Which is uh, suicide from the club, but you know, that's gone now, it's happened. They need to get somebody in or somebody needs to step up to to replace him. Brilliant for Sarri as well. I was class in those videos where he's just looking at the metal. metal. This is like unreal. What I've been working for. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. and it's nice to see him. We don't know what's going to happen. Says Fabregas needs to believe he's going to go. Hazard then. He's going like uh, seven unreal seasons in Chelsea. Yeah. Um, and so he's, had, he, he's brought in and he's won a lot of trophies. Also, he's probably been Chelsea's most gifted footballer. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, anyway, you're a Chelsea fan, I mean. You'd see he was a bit of emotion in him last night. Yeah. And Daryl uh, is a curry. I thought he was brilliant away in him because he wasn't nasty, he wasn't pushy. He was just chatting to him and like, well, like, what is it? What's going to happen now? And where, where does it go from here? And he's all like, is this goodbye? And he's all yeah. He looked away, and he, he probably thought to himself, "How can I answer this with not you know tell without telling the truth?" Um, and fair enough. Yeah. Well, is that your initial reaction? Like, just part of you always like clings on to some hope, like. Um, but I, I mean, I knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. Um, perfect way of signing off. But even you know, forgetting the final, forgetting. Um, how good he's been this season, what a servant he's been to the club and he deserves everything that comes now through him did. It's been his it's been his dream since he was a kid. He talked about it. He talked about Zidane being his hero a couple of times. Now again with him being at Real Madrid he has the opportunity to do that. So you know go forth and prosper my yeah, son. Yeah, um, no doubt you'll have a Real Madrid top. Yeah and he's well <laughs> he, he, I already have him anyway, but he always says um that I support Chelsea. Gerard completely different. That was that really hurt because you wouldn't see him again. But you probably got when Terry left. Yeah. Um, so it's a little, I don't know what it feels like, but just watching last night, you can just see with Chelsea fans was all like, "Wow, this is such an end of an era." And now it is like, where did Chelsea go next? I think that's one of the most intriguing stories of next season's. Not to look too far ahead. Next season's Premier League is this juggernaut of a trophy winning club now. You just have cup become. Chelsea Football Club, chaos and trophies. Yeah, you know, like, and, mm. and do you know what I picked up as well? And we'll wrap this up soon, folks. Every Chelsea player was all talking about Sarri. Every Chelsea player was interviewed, and they were asking about Sarri in the first trophy. Brilliant for the manager. Happy, so happy for the manager. Then Sarri pulled his big cigar, you see everyone's laughing and joking with him, giving him hugs and everything. And, and sometimes Sarri actually be a little bit on his own, like, mm. but everyone seemed to be around him. And that's what made me think. Yeah, Chelsea might look to be getting rid of him, but they probably could listen to the players. And if they want to keep him, then... That'd be so interesting. Yeah, so interesting. That we always have an interesting summer. <laughs> oh, you are you're, you're mad. Like. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, Breton. No problem. Uh, first half of people on Breton's double is complete. <laughs> Next half, hopefully Liverpool win on um, Saturday evening. We'll have a preview show that we're going to maybe film on Saturday morning, and it'll come up in the afternoon on Saturday. And then we'll do, obviously, a review show... Um, on Sunday and regardless of what happens I'll be on it but hopefully I'll be on it in a good form but uh, yeah thanks for watching folks as always like comment subscribe and turn on your notifications for all of our social media channels including our YouTube page at the Sports Bubble and um, we'll see you at the weekend good luck